welcome back again to the Unshared Tutorials in our channel Chandra Awesome. Uh, in the previous videos, we just learned about every tool in Unshared Cat software, along with the partial door and the assembly itself. Okay, but we just missed some of the some of the things to explain to you about this. That is about drawing sheet and some uh, and the one is assembly relations. I hope uh, in the previous videos I just explained there how to work with assembly mates and there's the extra tools and but I didn't teach you about the relations how to work with this in assembly. Okay. In this video, I'm going to teach you every bit how to work with this. Okay. So first of all, let's learn about the gear relation here. Here you can see I just uh, add the gears. You know how to add the gears in the uh, assemblies. You know how to work with this in the previous video. If not, uh, I will tag the videos uh, in the description. Learn from this. And here are the two gears I just added and make these centers to be parallel like this. Let me so here I just uh, um, added the two gears that they extend to each other. Okay, they are touching there exactly at the same position. But uh, we some of you don't know how to work with gear relation. Okay, and here you can see if I done the um, if I'm about to rotate it, it is actually working. Okay, uh, let me delete this for now. Okay, so let me show you the for animation. Click on the animate and let me see that the two gears are in relation and they moving related to each other one by one. So how to work with how uh, in the in the in many of the tutorials you can see that is how to work with but we don't know the problem so i'm explaining again here you can see how to work with first relation first of all you need to click on the relations tool and they ask the maze and this maze should be reviewed more strongly guys okay so here in the previous relation in the gear one relation you see i just added two review matrix one is for this one and the review for this one so you can see it is also showing the reference here so, so uh, uh, here we are here is the assembly relation ratio. It means how that the two gates are connected to each other, uh, related to each other according to the ratio. So, but the, if you want to work with the gate relation, relation uh, you can simply uh, do that like that. Number of gates of first gate, right? Number of gates of, sorry, sorry, sorry number of teeth of first gear by number of teeth of second gear it gives some ratio let's for example this gear have 25 teeth okay and this gear have 25 teeth 25 by 21 equals to 1 okay so in this way you can get the relation and here you can see 25 by 21 it gives to 1 so that is the gear ratio and they connect to each other at um, exact position so that's why you don't get any inflammations or or any intertouches here so in this way you can have the care relations how to work with care relation and let's let's come up with a rack and pinion relation so if you want to work with the rack and pinion relation let me undo this yeah it needs a one rack and an opinion see this is called a uh, this is called a racket and this is called the pin pinion here okay see so here we are going to by using the revolute rotation we are make the and that part should be motion in linear path okay so when it rotates it will move in linear path let me show the animation for this we are going to take gear and you can see Actually, the gear, the pinion gear is rotating, but the rack is moving in linear direction. In this way, you can perform the rack and pin relation. So, what is the formula for this? So, for that, for that you need to we need to have a rack and a pinion that is exactly the same teeth of the gear. Okay. So, if you're not available, you can import from the parts, or else you can also uh, a dried I left one in the another tutorial to put the pinion gear. Okay. So, what is the formula for the second pinion? 
for that you need to select the negative new tool if need one uh, zoom slider mate and one is double use mate which means it clearly showing that the gear is rotating and the uh, the rack is moving in linear path so it means a slider path slider metal right so that's the difference here i'm doing going to edit the second in the relation and you can see and edit to reduce one and slim slider one okay and here you can see it is asking the distance per revolution so what is the distance per revolution which means for, for one revolution how much distance should the pinion should move so it is that is what it's asking so to achieve this we need this form of what that is uh, which diameter of the gear okay which diameter of the gear into the components of the gear here you can see let me show you here you see this is the pitch of the gear is which diameter of the gear is one inch and 3.14 is the components of the gear okay uh, 3.14 is a uh, uh, circumference of any surface so that is the simple thing you can achieve this by using this formula if you, okay if you work with this formula the rack and pinion animation will work very good okay let me click on it and as i shown that before if you do the animation the slider will move see they're not intermeshing each other it's just moving exactly in a good way okay in this way you can perform the back and pinion animation in the future press on shape assembly and another one is screw relation. So how to work with screw relation? It is very simple, guys. So, so let me let's work with the import data, which is standard content, okay? And let's select. Okay, it should doesn't have. Okay. So let me show you the proof. Okay, here you can see uh, you just see that the screw and a uh, I mean bolt and a nut, right? So to achieve this animation relation, you just need to we just need to have a cylindrical mate. Okay. Uh, let me uh, delete this and let me show you. Okay. See, I just Okay, now the both parts are not going to each other. So how we can do this? We need to add the cylindrical mate. Here we have right. So we found the cylindrical mate and we found the center of the bit and and this center. Now it is uh, uh, make it exactly as we required using cylindrical mate. And what we need is we need the screw relation. So when you click on the relation, it's asking the mate. So what is the mate of the cylindrical? That one is enough. And distance parameter is how much distance it will move. So so we need to calculate here that. How does it? We need to calculate the pitch. So the pitch is different. What is the distance from this to and this? That is the pitch distance, right? So to achieve that, we need to go back. Okay. And to do cooperation, we need to add triangle, right? So how much distance it should be the pitch diameter? 0.0 somewhere, right? This is the distance we need to add there in the assembly. In the school relation, edit it. And here it is, 0.07. And click on Now just animate this and sell it in. Then let's repop it in. So let's change the direction as you can see. That click on it. Okay. 
here you can see in this way the screw relation is going to work in ocean assembly not only in chip assembly in any case of work it will be useful it works exactly like this okay and the last one is linear relation so how does it work this this relation so what with the only shared of me okay so let me show you here i have a three tubes and connect to each other with slider mesh to see i give the slider mesh to each one of the tubes okay and when you click on the machine you're asking the mesh that is only the slider mesh okay and when it's here i already add the linear relation and it is deep and it's asking the one and it's asking the ratio means exactly how much ratio it will move together it means let me show the hand machine first then you can finish time so that it's done so when you play you can see the two cylindrical moves are moving exactly at the same time see the first second two and third two the two are moving this type of animation you can observe in the using of hydraulics right so like this you can uh, use full for the like this you can use the linear relation in assembly of any parts in concept cut from four so how you can achieve this it is an nothing but a more calculated way just we need to edit it and give how much distance with how much with how much ratio it should remove in as well as do I just reduce it so when I do animate it the speed may be increased or decreased see now they are going a bit faster so like this way you can use the linear relation so finally guys I hope I explained your relation that in opinion rule and link what are the relations we have in Microsoft Assembly? Explain the whole with me. If we still have those two comments in our the comment box and let me know. Okay. I hope you might understand guys. I hope you check this. I will explain you how to work with the drawing sheet in on sheet. Okay. And thanks for watching.